Hello, Oniko Elementary School. Today is Thursday, March 23rd. It's also dun -da -da, graduation day for Oniko the calf. Woohoo! Oniko is officially no longer drinking milk. We started on Monday and we'd only feed her milk on once a day. So she kind of got. Um, Kind of got slowed down on drinking milk. And then so tonight she won't get any milk. And she won't get any more milk now until forever. So Oniko and the other calf right there. Who's all stretched out looking kind of goofy. Her name is Fickle. Her mom is Foxy. But that's Oniko there. Foxy here. That's not the cleanest bedding. We're going to get fresh bedding in here tonight. So Oniko and Fickle together will only eat. Dun, da, 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 grain. But that doesn't look like it's going to look. And water and they'll also have some hay some hay here so fickle and oniko will not be the only two over here they'll be uh, i'm not sure these two names but this holstein here and of course a guernsey that big old guernsey there they're both going to get moved over there with the other two i still have to give oniko and fickle their um their vaccines they get um it's kind of cool. Well, it's a vaccine for COVID, but it's it's a different thing. It's for cattle. It's different in cattle. So it goes in their nose. They get that every every five weeks for a while. So Oniko's there. Um, that's her first stop after the huts. And then her next place after the huts will be, or after this shed, will be the new shed. So right here, I'll... Right now, here's the truck and trailer that I used to haul them over from the huts. But you can see the huts are over there. That's where Oniko was. She was in hut six there, remember? And now she's over here. There's the barn. And here's the first shed. And then we'll, the new shed's down that away. But this is Oniko's house. I'm not sure how long she'll be living here for. Um, it depends on... Because right now we're pretty crowded in the new shed down below. But down... We're not crowded in here, so she'll be in here for a while. And then, so the other two will come over, and then there's one more over the huts that will come over later next month. She's just a little tinier that needs a little bit more extra love. Her name is uh, Comet, like a comet in the sky. So there's only three over there in the huts now. The hut, the third hut that doesn't have any cab in it, that was, I guess there's four over there, but there's only three occupied huts. The second hut's got the twins in it. And then the other one has Sunny in it from uh, Sunshine had Sunny. And then, uh, of course, the twins, uh, Kaylee and Katie, are in Hut 2. Um, yeah, so I got it. Next step is to get those two out over there with those two. And then I have to get those straw bales out that are up there, those round bales. All those straw bales have to come out. Got to find a new home for them, and I think we'll have to put more heifers over here. Um, I have, there's one actually trying to have her baby right now. I have to check on after I can shoot this video. And if she has a half her calf, I'll send a picture of it to uh, Mrs. Ruck. Because Mrs. Ruck is the greatest ever! Woohoo! Or Miss Jackie, it depends on what you call her. But I call her pretty amazing. And I think she'd agree with that. But anyhow, this is a spring in Wisconsin, weather-wise. Sunshine, it wasn't earlier. Actually, we had snow this morning. A little dusting of snow, which we are kind of getting sick of. But you know what? We could go check on that. Um, cow together. She's just down here. If you don't mind looking at some mud. We'll just walk down and check on. Her name is Showstopper. You might wonder why that fan's running. Fan's running so that there's air moving over top of the cows. So they, um, so they stay healthy and happy. And cows kind of really like to be cold. They really like the cold. That's why they live in Wisconsin. So... Um, they like when the air is moving and it's cool. And she may have had it. Let's check on her. You see it? So showstopper had it out here in this nice clean bedding. There's no, that's crunch there. And there's Mary the cow. Check this out. This little calf. What do you think it is? Boy or a girl? There she is. Oh my, it's a little girl. All kind of twisted around. Are you trying to get up? 
Probably be, we're in a pretty good spot and she's taking pretty good care of it. So I'll leave her alone. That's a nice size calf. She had it all on her own. I was kind of watching her earlier, but exciting. She's a nice, excited, excited about this heifer and how she looks. She's a nice heifer. But anyways, so Oniko's in that shed that we just walked in from over there. And she will go over here in that spot, in that smallest, on that section over. But then when they get older, they just get moved down and then down and then down. And that's kind of what we do. That's kind of how, how it works. We're gonna, cows being a good mom, looking that calf clean. So we need a name for this calf. Um, mom starts with A. Her name is A Showstopper. So we need a name with starts with A. And there are a few names that are already taken. So I'll let you know if, um, if they're already taken and if they, if how many we got to come up with. So. Of course, there's Hojo. She's a Holstein and a Jersey crossed together. So her mom was a Holstein and her dad is a Jersey. Not And sometimes we can mistake Jerseys and Guernseys, but this is a Jersey and behind it is a Guernsey. So you can kind of see, normally Jerseys are a golden like the Guernsey, but, but there you go. And that cow is going to the bathroom on good clean bedding. That's Mary, she's gonna have in April so heifers are over here are soaking up the sun eating at their all they can eat buffet our, really, our nice heifer shed so that's all for this video Nico have a great Friday a great weekend and thank you for tuning in